Hi YouTube, this is iDevice Programming. Um, this is my second video, and I'm pretty much going to start off where we left off um, on the last video. So, I'm going to assume that you uh, followed along and you've done all that. If you haven't, uh, click the link that appears now. Um, so, pretty much just an overview of the code. We uh, instance main. We made an instance variable main view controller, um, turned it into an IB outlet. Um, it doesn't actually need to be IB outlet, but we uh, propertyed it, sorry. Um, we allocated and initialized it, but there's a difference here. Instead of init with nib name like we had before, uh, I just want init because we're not using any nib files, which are XIB files. Um, we don't, we're not using Interface Builder to create this view controller. So you add the subview, and that is that um, for the app delegate. So I emptied out the code here. Uh, it's just straight um, UI view controller. So what you want to do is um, create a UI button. Let me zoom in here. UI button button. Um, you want to property it. Making all these typos. Um, and you want to. I'm gonna say IB outlet. It doesn't matter. Um, doesn't have to be because we're not even using interface builder, but. I just like to do that, why not? Um, ID and init. Also a IB action touch for when we touch the button. So this is how your uh, header file should look. And then in the code, um, you want to get rid of the uh, commented out init with nib name. I already did that. So you want to type ID init. And so um, what this does is it uh, returns ID, which is any, it's a generic uh, type for any Objective C object. Um, and you end up returning self, which is returning the object. So when, when you do that piece of code that says self.mvc equals main view controller alloc in it, um, it's returning an ID, which is an ID to a main view controller object. So we're going to code that right now. Um, what you want to do in this is um, Apple has a very, uh, in most of Apple's initializers, they have um, this code that says uh, self equals super init, um, init with the nib name usually, but we're not actually using that, so if self, return self. Um, it's just good practice to do this. Um, so inside here, you want to say, oops, I actually forgot to synthesize the button, sorry. Um, you want to say button equals UI button button with type, um, and we're gonna say UI button type round rect. Yeah, rounded rect. All right, um, and then after that, you want to say uh, button add target. This is going to um, if you've ever used Interface Builder, the uh, touch up inside. It's basically setting that, except we're setting it with code instead of with interface builder. So target is self because self um, will contain the selector that we're about to define. Selector um, touch, which we haven't coded yet. I'll just add a um, IB action touch, and that's in indenting weird because of uh, we haven't finished the statement. So UI control event. Um, what is it? Touch up inside. All right. So um, then after that, we want to indent that back. A quick little tip uh, I didn't notice. You can uh, select what you want and hit command um, and one of the uh, square brackets, I think they're called, um, one of these little guys, uh, you can hit them to go different directions and indent a specific set of code like that it's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, usually like in uh, Microsoft Visual C++, if you just hit tab, it would indent it all, but in this it just deletes it. Um, so then you want to say button set title, click me for state um, UI control state uh, normal, I think. I don't really see a point to <laughs> do anything else. All right, and then our button will not appear until you set the frame. 
um, equals cd rect make, let's say, 40, uh, 40, should the width be, um, 331, I don't know, I just made that up, 32, um, alright, so we set the frame for it, and then nothing will appear unless we say, uh, self.view, because we're a UI view controller, make sure that you, uh, think, that you make sure that you, uh, think about that, um, add subview, and we're gonna say button. So, to make sure this is all working, inside touch, we wanna say, uh, ns log, um, what should we say? Hi, YouTube. You, <laughs> you clicked the button. Alright. Um, and just as a added little flare, it says self.view, um, set background color and UI color, red color, why not? Um, alright. So, that should work. Uh, I propertyed that, I synthesized it, and let's see how that builds. Alright, so this is a little bit odd, but the background is red and the button is where we defined it, even if it is a little bit off screen. And if I hit Command Shift R for, let's see, build, where is it? Uh, console command shift R right here in the run menu um, it'll pop up and every time I hit click me a new uh, entry appears saying hi YouTube you click the button so that's just a quick tutorial um, how to use code to initialize um, interface builder stuff that you normally do um, thank you guys for watching I hope you uh, rate comment subscribe see you next time